What's up everyone? Welcome to Strength Month. This is tier number two of Summertime Fine. And we've got 40 minutes of work today. We're going from lower body to upper body to core. No cardio, but we are focusing on full body strength. So make sure you're breathing throughout the workout. As for your variables for training today, we've got 70 to 85% of your one rep max for each exercise. So if you'd like to go down to the description, kind of check out which exercises I have planned for you today. You can look at those and say, what would be the heaviest weight that I can use for those exercises? And then go 75 to 85% of that. So for most people, it's one or two dumbbells down from what they think they could do the most. We're starting off with 45 second work periods and 15 second rest periods. And in your straight set exercises, you'll be doing the same exercise for three rounds. In those three rounds, I want you to bump up at least once to a heavier weight and making sure if you don't have heavier weights, you go with a little bit more intensity in your tempo. Progressive overload is the mission this month. So making it a little bit harder for yourself each round is how we're gonna see those incredible strength gains and your lean body mass come to life. So horizontal loading today, we're focusing on one body part at a time. Before we move down to the next one, you're gonna love it. So grab some dumbbells and a bench if you have it. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and let's get warmed up. All right, let's go ahead and start. Arms across your chest in three, two, one. Here we go. Great job. Open cross, open cross. This workout's gonna be a little bit more upper body centered for the full body approach today just because we have a lower body workout tomorrow. If you don't have your workout calendar, that's in the description below. Heels to glutes. I want you really pushing. I want this to be your set the tone week for your strength training. So if you have goals in mind, start here, work hard, set the bar for where you're currently at, and this will be your previous best. At the end of the month, you'll be able to look back and say, look how far I've come, okay? Arms past your body and up. Job. And then let's add a little twist to it. Arms here, twist and tap. Great job. Later in the workout, I'll challenge you to put a dumbbell on your back for a plank. Lots of optional moves here with a weight, but that one will be one if you're not ready for the weighted plank. You're just gonna rock a regular plank. Over, over. There you go, three, two, and let's take it wide for a squat. Sit it down, just about another 90 seconds and we'll jump into goblet squats. Wanna make sure you're warm and ready. Good, two more, sit and shift. Last one. Good. All right, plank position. Let's take it into a pike first. It's a little hamstring stretch as you pedal your heels down. Step it up nice and wide. Open your arm to the sky. Take it back, switch legs. Take it back to a plank. Exhale, brace your core. go. Walk it back to your toes. Slowly roll up to the top. Last thing, ankles and wrists. We're going to start off with three rounds of goblet squats, okay? Your job is to make it harder on yourself in one of those three rounds. All right. Next side to side. If you're someone who needs to practice your depth, you can walk up to something and have kind of a tap down depth target. But let's go ahead, okay? 45 seconds on the clock. Your dumbbell is right here. As you exhale, brace your core and sit. Two, one. Your tempo, one, two, up, one, two. Keep that tempo. One, two, up, one, two. Good, 15 more seconds. Two, 
two, one, rest. All right, go up or go up in round three. If you don't have the ability to go heavier, move with less rest at the top. Four, three, two, let's go. Good, 15, keep it up. Last one. Rest, good. Okay, pay attention. Was that easy? Can you go up? Can you increase the tempo? This one needs to be your burnout round. Three. Two, one, let's get it. Get to that point, just like the finish line, where you're pushing with everything you have at the end of this work period. Good. 15, come on. Seven. Chest up, big push. One more. And rest. Whew. We set the bar there. Goblet squats. Last round at the last part of this month. I want it to be heavier than what you just did. We're moving on. Lunges, you have options. Forward, or you can go reverse, okay? Whew. Let's go in seven. Four, two, one, let's go. Keep your core strong. Chest stays up. Don't let your hips shoot back before your chest. Eight, seven. Two. And rest. Go heavier or increase your tempo. All right, we go again in seven. If you're out of breath, normal, you're working hard. Ready, let's go, round two. Come on, push, push. Six. One more each leg. Two. One. All right, one last round. We're moving right along. Woo. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Last round. Four. Two. One. Let's go. Last half. Don't 
10. One more lunge. And rest. Woo! 30 seconds. We're going Romanian deadlifts. If you have a barbell and you want to use it for those, go ahead and load it up. But we're right here. Strong back, bent knee. You're bending at the hip. Gliding right along the edges of your legs. Not here, strong here, hinge back. 10 seconds and we'll go. Five. Exhale, keep your core strong. Back is turned on. Let's go. Good, two seconds down, two seconds up. Squeeze at the top. Don't forget that. Two, one, rest. Go up if you can. And when I say go up, that can also mean in intensity. Doesn't have to mean dumbbell weight. Just work a little harder. Push yourself a little more. Two. One. I'm squeezing my glutes at the top. With these especially, there's no rush. Fifteen. And rest. Good. Keep in mind your grip has a lot to do with this, so I'll link some lifting straps in the description if that's something you're struggling with right now. But for right now, go with what you can hold. Squeeze well. Two, one, let's go. Doing great. Don't let your back relax. Perfect. Your grip strength also gets better by holding on to heavy things. So you're working it right now. Hold strong. Four, two, one. Beautiful. And rest for 60. We're moving into upper body. We're starting with shoulders. Hit a couple shoulder moves. Hit biceps, triceps, and back. Okay, and then we'll close that with a little chest. One exercise for each of those muscle groups. <sighs> You're doing great. In the 60 seconds, grab water. If you wanna jog around, keep your heart rate up, that's okay. But I want your muscles to get a little bit of fuel back in them. And we'll go in 30, okay? Shoulder press is up first, okay? I wanna start off this month alternating. Give your arms a little rest in between reps. We'll go in 15. If you need to dial that weight down halfway through, that's okay, all right? Let's go in four, three, two, come on, 45 right here. On the shoulder press, I will say, calm down, okay? On shoulder press, we tend to go here, <laughs> right? Relax your shoulders. Keep them about 45 degrees out, okay? So they're not behind you. You're coming in front of your body just a bit. Bend your knees a little. Good job. 
10 seconds and you can rest. Rest, good job. All right, go up if you can. I would say try to do this weight one more time. Then whatever you've got left at the round three, starting point, go up from there. If you ever go up and you feel like I can't maintain this, drop it down mid-set. Don't feel like you have to play it safe. Let's go. So I'd rather you start heavy is what I'm saying. Get to that point where you're like, I can't do another one, then drop weight. That's progressive overload. It's okay to open up your chest just a little bit so you don't have to be here. 20. Great work. 10. One more. Rest. All right, here's where we go up. Try it. Come on. Believe in yourself here. This is what it's all about. Failure is not bad. Two, one, let's get it. Failure means I'm pushing harder than I have before. I'm pushing to that point. I don't know if I can do any more. That's how we see changes. Failure is positive. Nice. Good, 20. Ten. Last one. Two, one. Oh, great job, great job, great job. 30 seconds. A little bit lighter on this next one. We're gonna go for a bent arm pump. Okay, so we're here, locking it in. Wrist and elbow, lift, lift. 10 to 15 pounds for myself for this one. Keep it tight. Meaning, I don't want your elbow just lifting, okay? So let's go in seven, right here. Lateral delt, three, two, 45, come on. Something that accomplishes basically the same thing would just be a longer lever point, straight arm, lateral raise but I want to get a good pump this month. So I want lots of blood into your shoulders right now. Lots of work right here. Come on, 15. Rest, beautiful. If you can go up, let's do it. Shake your hands out, doing good. All right, down two, ready? Two, one, let's go. When you go up, expect to be a little slower, okay? It's more resistance, it makes sense. Fifteen. Come on, go for the pump. Stay moving. Five. Rest. One more time. Go up if you can. Stay here if you need to. And throughout the month, go down if you need to as well. Your technique is everything. Last round, two, one, come on. Good. Good. 
Push, push. Whew. Last 15, work it out. Get the elbow up, 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 up. Five, come on. Four, two, one, rest. Oh, okay, 30 seconds. We're going hammer curls. Okay, drop your hands here, thumbs pointed up. You've got a neutral grip. We're gonna alternate today, okay? 15 seconds. I'm gonna start with my 15s. All right, three, two, come on, pull. Try to keep your chest up on this one. A little bend in the knees so that you're not popping, okay? This midsection of the workout, a lot of upper body just because tomorrow is entirely lower. Fifteen. Rest. Good. You know what I'm going to ask you. Can you go up? If yes, try it. Come on, push yourself. Five. I'll go with you. Two, one, come on. One, two, one, two. Don't just slam down. Whew. Great job. Seven. Two. Rest. If you can go up at all, even if you think it's only for 10 or 15 seconds, try it. You're gonna surprise yourself, I have no doubt, and how long you can last, but push there. Get to failure, then drop. Three, two, let's go. One more each arm, six, five. Last one, big squeeze, two, one, rest. Great job. 30 seconds and we're going to triceps, skull crushers. You can lay on the floor or you can lay on a bench. I'm gonna do it on the bench. One or two dumbbells, totally up to you. But we're gonna take it overhead. I'm gonna start with my 20. Okay, so we're here, bend and push. All right, let's go in five, three, two, come on. Great job. Fifteen seconds. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes in the mental freeze when these people talk too much, put that in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut and rest. Go up if you can. 
Good work. So we've got this one and two more upper body exercises, chest and back, then we'll head down to core. Two, one, let's get it. Lock it out. Come on. Fifteen. Five. One more. And rest. Now, if you surprised yourself by how strong you are there, go up again. We've got one more round. Come on. I bet a lot of you are doing that today. Surprising yourself with your own strength. Last round. Two, one, go. If your lower back is not flat, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Twenty. Ten. Last one. Two, one, rest. 30 seconds, we're going to bent rows. I wanna alternate again, so if you need a little support, feel free to go on the bench or drop it down to the floor and go here, okay? If you're feeling okay with supporting yourself here, that's fine. All right, some people just need a little bit more lower back kind of assistance and being on the floor or the bench will help that, okay? So, let's go in six. I'm gonna start with my 20s. Two. One, big pull, open your chest up. If you're rounded here, you're not gonna be able to row effectively. Open your chest a little bit. Pull back like you're trying to pull right past ribs and hips, not up here. Seven. Two, rest. Go up if you can. Here we go in six. Come on, keep it up, you're doing great. Two, one, let's pull. Remember, keep this tempo. I don't want any twisting, right? No starting the lawnmower here. Keep it here. Squeeze that shoulder blade back like you're trying to give the other shoulder blade a high five. Fifteen. One more each arm. Rest. All right, go up if you can. Last round. Four. Two, one, come on, let's go. Good job, I know this is tough. I know you're strong. 15. Uh, 
One more each arm, five. Big pull, two, one, rest. You got a bench press to close out upper body. If you have a bench and a barbell, you wanna use that, load it up. You can do it on the floor, you can do it on the bench with the dumbbell set. Woo. I'm gonna start with 15 seconds from now. 20s, ah, let's go 25. Here we go, seven seconds. Alternate as well. Three, two, drop one at a time. Outside your chest. So remember, don't be around your shoulders. If you're way up here near your ears, it's too much shoulder impingement. Bring it down outside of your rib cage. Beautiful. Fifteen. If your arms are shaking, just admire that they're working really hard for you as we're getting stronger. Seven. And rest. Come on, go up if you can. Two more rounds. And then we head down to some ab work. Three, two, let's go. Don't lose control at the bottom either. So if you're slamming down to the floor, it's likely gonna be harder to get back to the top. Control, control, push, push. 20 seconds. Five. Last one, two. Ah, rest. All right, go with where you're challenged. I'm gonna stay here for myself. Progressive overload for me will be resting less at the top. Okay, you don't always have to go up and wait. Two, one, get it. Push, come on, do not slow down, do not give up here. You should be getting close to not being able to move these weights. Push hard. Dig deep, seven. Rest, one minute, breathe. Oh my gosh. You're doing fantastic. <sighs> We've got some core. <laughs> Two core moves to finish it out. <sighs> dumbbell toe touches and a dumbbell plank. You can do this on the bench or on the floor. We'll go in 15. Legs are up here. <sighs> okay, just crunching up. Then we'll go in five. I'm gonna start with my 15. Two, one, exhale. I always think of pulling my ribs closer to my tailbone hips. You want to keep that weight over your chest so that as you're crunching, abs fight against the resistance. Thirteen. Two, one, rest. Good, heavier if you can. Six. Two, exhale, go.
20 seconds. Same thing applies with your tempo here. Try not to crunch up and then slam down. One, two, one, two. Five. Rest. Ah. One more time. Four. Come on, exhale, legs up. Two, one. Good, try for that two point up and down. Rest, beautiful. All right, 30 seconds. We're gonna finish it out with three rounds of plank, okay? Options, I'm gonna go from most approachable to most difficult, incline. Start here if you need to start here. Second option, down to the floor, high plank. Third option, on your elbows. Fourth option, elbows with the dumbbell on your back, okay? Make it harder each round for yourself. Here we go, four. Two, one, let's get it. A little anatomy scan here, if you will. Shoulders right over top of your elbows. Ribs are pulling back into your spine. They're not reaching for the floor. Glutes are flexed. Abs are pulled in nice and tight. 15 seconds. As for your legs, quads are also flexed. Your heels are shooting away from your ponytail or from your fingertips. Hold tight with me. We'll stay strong for three, two, good, rest. Now, maybe it is you stay the, the same weight the whole time, that's okay. Maybe you go up on the last round, that's okay too. Five seconds and we'll go for round two. You're doing great. Two, one, rock it out. I always think about my heels in my head stretching away from each other. Everything in the middle of my body, it's staying flexed so that I'm not sagging, I'm not lifting my butt. If your dumbbell is sliding up your back, your butt is too high. It should be in the low part of your back. Good, we haven't done these in a while, so if this is tough, hold tight, you're strong. 10. Rest. Whew. Okay, good job. We got one more round and you're done with the workout. So, everything you've got left, pour it out right here. Okay, let the sweat fall. You have earned it and we're just getting stronger. Two, one. Oh man, I thought that was a 20. That's a 25. Let's go, let's go. We're in it, come on. Staying strong, staying focused. 30 seconds of work left, you can do this. There's no doubt in my mind and there can't be a doubt in yours. You're just not giving yourself the choice to drop. <sighs> Belly, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. 10. And rest. Oh my gosh. Whew. Guys, you've made it to your cool down. <sighs> All right then, strength month, here we go. Don't leave yet, give me a minute or two to cool you down. 
what just happened? <sighs> All right, let's come on up to standing. We'll just make our way up. <sighs> Cross your arms over your chest, breathe, don't leave. <sighs> Part of your workout is warm up and cool down. That makes a complete workout. I do that with you here so that you will stay and do it so that your workout tomorrow is better for it. The recovery today starts immediately. A lot of people would like to skip out. If that's you, turn around, come on back. Switch arms. Just give me a minute or two. I know this is not something you always feel like sticking around for, but if I'm gonna get you stronger this month and you're gonna see lean muscle develop, we have to recover. Your strength actually starts right now, not in the workout. That's the, tear, the breakdown, tear down process. Pull your fingertips back. You actually start getting stronger the minute I say you've made it to your cool down. The recovery and repair process is how we see gains. Okay, switch arms. There's no doubt in my mind that today at some point you showed yourself how much stronger you are than you thought. Heel to glute. At any point in that workout, if you push yourself to failure, you're doing exactly what you should be doing. Failure is incredibly positive. Switch your legs. There's no part of you that should associate muscle fatigue or failure with anything negative. Because if you're getting there, you're working as hard as you can. That's all the workouts require, okay? Push to failure, recognize failure as a benefit to you, as a positive outcome, as one step closer to you getting to that strength goal that you want. Hands on your hips, shift to the side. Stop doubting yourself. Go heavier than you think you can. And in those last 10 to 15 seconds where you think I don't know if I can do another rep. That's success. Switch sides, because you've realized how to push yourself to those current limits. They won't be your limits forever, but right now you've got to inch up to them and you've got to keep challenging them in order for them to be your previous best. Okay, we set the tone today. Day one of strength training month, you have to know that the way you feel right now should be fatigue, failure, tired. You should be ready for a good protein shake or a good meal or maybe a good nap. Whatever the case is, if you push hard today, that's how I need you to work for the rest of the month. Make sure you grab your workout calendar in the description below so you know what's coming tomorrow. I know you're gonna love tomorrow's workout as well, but as for today, great job. Check out everything in the description and make sure you comment below that you crushed it right now. Hit me with the flex emoji, tag me on social, and I'll see you tomorrow. Great job.